Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. We are going to be doing day 28 of the daily scripture writing. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that off. So before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you can share the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. So with that being said, you can find the list in the description below, or if you look on SWT Blessings, you will see um, the prompts for the July 2018, which I haven't been saying, but we're doing the attributes of God. So, yes, I already set it up, and I have an extra sheet of paper just in case, because you know my handwriting is a little big, and yeah. So again, doing Romans 8, 31 through 35. I already have that set up. I'm not going to probably sticker it, which it would probably look cute. What a little sticker is, huh? <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. I think I want it without stickers today, but who knows. So I have the Bible in front of me. It's Romans 8, 31. It says more than conquerors. 31, okay. Ugh, this Bible's so big. 31 says, What then shall we say in response to the things? If God is for us, who can be against us? This is absolutely true. If God is for us, who could be against us? 32. He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things 33 who will bring any charge against those who god has chosen it is god who is justifies it is god who justifies 34 who then is the one who condemns no one, Christ Jesus, who died. More than that, who was raised to life. Just making sure where I'm at. <clears throat> is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. And the last one is 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, or hardship, or prosecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword. So with that being said, how is everybody doing, and how is your scripture writing? We are only, I think, four days away. Let's see. One, two, three. No, three more days. And then that is it for July. I cannot believe, with all the moving I've done in twice in one month um i still haven't unpacked i mean <laughs> who knows because this place here is falling apart but we're trying to like deal with it and it's like a dungeon here it is so hot can't believe it i feel like i have a fan on that could be a function fan. Well, no, I have my ceiling fan on, too. I feel like, you know, the fan is, like, blowing in my room. And if you've seen the hall, you would be like, no, Mother Ray, there's no possible way. This house is so long, but it's not very wide. And then the... I'm grateful we have a house, you know, like an apartment. We're paying very high rent, especially for living in Chicago. I feel it's just a little too high. We're in a good area. Like, there's barely any crime. But over, you know, like where we're living, it's, we have a retro stove, so it looks like the Brady Bunch stove, if you remember the Brady Bunch. And it was very difficult yesterday to cook. 
a very, and it's not like I'm complaining, but I am grateful that, you know, we do have a roof over our head. We found a place quickly. We're not homeless, you know, type thing. Because, I mean, I couldn't stay in that other place any longer. We had nothing but floods when it rained outside. We had to move our cars constantly. Yeah, so it was a rough. No air at all. Landlord didn't want to fix it. We had almost a break in. Someone tried busting the back screen to get in. Thank God the window. One was locked, and then the next time it was unlocked. And you couldn't turn it to lock it. So, yeah, I'm glad we are more safe, you know. And what's crazy is we were only a block away from Chicago. It was so funny. It was just one block away. So with me talking and jibber-jabbing, how is everybody else? Well, I'm asking how you guys are. Has anybody used that kind of stove? Leave it in the comments below. I'm trying to figure out what is the clock looking thing. I don't know if it's a timer. I don't know what it's for, but it does say off. So, I don't even think my landlord knows. Because the one landlord said, it's husband and wife. The guy says it's gas. Everything is gas. The wife says it's electric. Or vice versa. One of them said it was electric. And I do not like cooking on electric stoves. I don't know why. I heard it doesn't cook properly or I don't know. But the oven, I don't know if it's gas or not, but very difficult to cook. So it's been a little rough. Oh, it's been so hot in this room, I've been sleeping in the front room. On my couch, because it is really hot. Even my husband has. And he's the type, oh, it's not hot. It's in your head. Mm -hmm. That's why you're following along. So now we're on 34, and of course I'm going to need a new paper. I don't know if you've seen that, because when I bring this paper down and start writing. So that is 34. got to get better at that. Okay, so let me find the washi I was using because, of course, I didn't set the page up. I was saving it for us. Oh, my washi just came apart. Okay, and yeah, so I'm going to be doing some testing and some live streams um, this coming week. I decided to go forward with it and let me know, you know. If you're all interested in live streams, but definitely gonna go ahead and do it this week. I'm actually liking this green washing. I don't know why. I just think it just has so cute. like it's so cute. It makes the page look really pretty. So now I have to find an end washi to end the verse, the day, um, because I ran out of the black with the hearts. So this was the last one. So the rest is in the garbage. Uh, well, not the rest, but you know what I mean. So now we're on 34. You'll be able to see 34. I need to get an overhang uh, camera. 
<clears throat> the long arm so that you're able to see the video a lot better than just me writing. I've tried the video with suggestions, putting it on the side. I've tried, you know, so many different things. When I lift it up, it's too high up. So yeah, so I have to figure this out. And it's not like the tripod is sitting on my desk because it's not. I have a whole separate section for it. And if I have it sitting on my desk, there would be no room to write. And did you see the, um, as I'm writing, did you see the journal that I've made for scripture writing and Bible in a year? I'm going to put a card on top. Most likely it'll be on this side right here. Let's see if I can point this way better. Right about here. Um, yeah, so I will link that on top. It's a card and it shows you the video to the uh, Half Sheets Journal. It turned out really nice. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's going to be a spare journal for me. So when I am either in a depressing mood, I have you know journaling to do, or like just whatever makes me feel like I want a journal. If you're happy, there's one for happy. If you want to find faith in God, I'm sure there's one for that. There is all kinds. And then there's in the front of it, because I'm going to do dividers later on today. And I'll probably do it online as well. Like film it, not online. And show you with tabs and all that good stuff. So I may do that later on today. Like jazz it up, put a little pocket just in case I want, you know, a pocket in there. Yeah, so that should be fun. But I may cut down an old, because I have a lot of those, an old Happy Planner pocket. And just make it from there, because it's already made. You just got to close it up and stuff. I thought I messed up. I'm like, no. Yeah, so I'll be doing a few videos you'll be seeing different besides just scripture writing because I know a lot of this is just scripture writing. But I did do the journal, so that is, you know, going to be linked. And then I will be doing later, like I said, the... Just making sure where I'm at. The pockets and dashboards and all that cute stuff. If I could find my vellum, or not my vellum, my laminating sheets, I can laminate it. But in the meantime, I will do it without it. And then maybe just come back later and laminate it. Because, of course, with the move, you can barely find anything. Plus, I haven't unpacked that's probably why. So we're at the end of day 28 and all my rambling on. But let me give you a quick glance at what I'm talking about. I'm so happy I made this. I will change out the disc later on. So this is day 28 before I move on. So this is day 28 here. And yeah. So we're done with this one. I can show you this one. And with that being said, what is on here? Okay. I'll do a quick little flip. This is the Bible in a year. And there's tons of pages for every month. And again, you will see it in the card, so go watch that video. Um, yeah. 31 days of in the Psalms. 31 days. Sorry, 30 days in the Psalms. So, like, if you have blessings, you go and look at the passage. Calling to God's confidence, you look at the passage. 
So you can either journal about it, write about it, whatever you want to do about it. 40 days of God's vision. And then that continues. The book of Psalms, the reading plan, and there's 1 through 50. 30 day book of Mark, the God of miracles. Intentional living, and it just keeps going on. This is the reading plan, the method of acts, and how to do the method of acts step by step. A is ask, C is chapter, T is think, and S is scripture. And then you just follow along. First mapping from step one to step eight. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, a reading. A Babel, oh, I can't even talk now. A Bible reading plan to battle fear. Bible mark, so the law, order, the prophets, justice, the writings, wisdom, the gospel, salvation, the letters, faith. I left a blank one. And then you got REAP. This is a REAP Bible study method. So what is REAP? Read. See how cute that is? So it's in the disc, it says R-E-A-D. Read. That's for the reap. So that's the letter R. The letter E is examine. And I did it here. The letter A is apply. And then the letter P is pray. So that's R-E-A-P. And again, I put them in the discs. And I used our washi. And then it just keeps going on. A to-do list. Wait patiently. And then there is the verse. Have faith. Pray. Think of others. Trust in the Lord. Read God's word and give thanks. And then in the back I just have scripture writing. Uh, this is blank. And then here is the scripture writing. Bible verse for building faith. Depression and anxiety, like I was saying. So if you have anxiety or depression, here you go. Um, if you want any of these, let me know, because I'll show you where I found them, or I'll type it up for you, whatever. Um, overcoming negativity thoughts. It's a scripture writing plan. The word by the book, Habica in Sefani. I can't say the words, but yeah. Zephany, I think it is. A Habica? I have no idea. And then I think that is it for this. But yeah, so this is just a work in progress. I will have tabs. I will have everything. I will have, you know, where it's shorter. This is very long. This is a dashboard. So I've been using it for my half sheets. And I do have a half sheet notebook. Just got to find it. And yeah, so there you have it. That's that. So be on the lookout for that. You can watch the video of, you know, the flip through. A better flip through. And thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I will talk to you in the next video. And let me know what you think of the new journal book that I'm making. And anytime I feel I need to journal about something, I have a book now. Or if I want to read the Bible in a year. I know that I have another one that says the Bible in a year. But I don't know where I found that one from. And in the video, I show you where I find I gave you the website to where the new one is. So again, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.